Hi, I'm Father Eric Sundrup, and I'm here with Father Patrick Gilger from America Media, and we're here for another season of Jesuit Autocomplete. We got renewed. I am honestly shocked. There should be cheering. There, there you go. Okay. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> So we just jump right into the topics. I think people know how it goes. Right? I'm ready. Yeah. So we're going to do different uh, p religious topics. Uh, Google autocomplete. So the question is: Is Advent? Is Advent? Is Advent? Is Advent a season of penance? Great question. <laughs> it's not mine. Well, you know, I like to congratulate you, <laughs> also, Eric. I appreciate that very much. Advent is kind of a season of penance, though. Yes, is the short answer to that. We kind of in the church have penance? two seasons of penance. Would you say penance or preparation? I would say more preparation. Okay. You're right. But I think this is uh, the thing yeah. is that... Penance is preparation too. Yeah, exactly right. That's just what I was going to say is that in preparation for a major celebration, what we end up finding is that we need to deal with certain things that happen inside of ourselves. And there, there are seasons for that, like actual calendrical seasons. Calendrical? <laughs> There are actual seasons that we have to we deal with, and we get we have the privilege of walking through to be able to prepare ourselves for these real celebrations: celebration of Christmas, celebration of Easter. And I think most people notice that, particularly because you'll see the liturgical colors for Advent and Lent are sim are, the, are similar, are the same. Uh, so that it's purple. So you get this penitent and preparation seasons, so seasons of preparing yourselves. And the color we use frequently is purple, so you'll see that throughout Advent. Mm -hmm. so we'll keep moving. Is Advent? Different than Lent. I feel like that's already been covered. Thank you for asking. That. <laughs> it is different than Lent, though. So the similarity is that there's a preparation that goes on in both of those. They are seasons of penance, seasons of preparation. But at the same time, they're slightly different. You know, Advent, more focused on waiting. Lent, more focused on penance and reparation. Yep. And waiting for our Christmas. Right? Exactly. Santa Claus. Yeah. I'm ready for Santa Claus. I'm ready already. <laughs> and or the coming of God. Right. Incarnation. Is Advent based on anything in the Bible? Well, see, um, the birth of Christ is in the Bible. So yeah, <laughs> that would probably be... One of the most beautiful things about our own tradition, in fact, is that we draw from and learn from things that are present in the scriptures, but that aren't explicitly referenced there. And Advent is a good example of this. One of the things that we can see is that it present in many places in the scriptures is this waiting for, this desiring, this anticipation of yeah. the arrival of the Lord in our lives. And so one of the things that we do in the Catholic Church is that we really trust our own body of tradition. What I mean is that these are our mothers and fathers, our aunts and uncles in the faith, and that they have had real experiences of God over the long term and have built ways, seasons of the year, for us to prepare for these major celebrations in our lives. When this question is asked, you're also going to realize different seasons have different like um, scriptural references that are very common for those seasons. That's so right. you, you can see, so you get a sense of, you know, at Advent we have certain scriptural references and we, we go back to and, and sort of mine the depths of those because they're appropriate for the season. So there's, there's a connection there. It's not quite causal, but it's, they're, they're correlated. Mm -hmm. I like to think of all of these seasons as wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. You know, it's always no around. more Doctor Who references. But done. Okay, <laughs> we'll move on. Sorry. How is Advent related to Christmas? <laughs> it, we've, we've talked about a number of things. It's a season of preparation, but it, you know, it's it's also preparing us for that wonderful celebration of the incarnation that God is with us. God loves us so much that God became one of us. So that's how it's sort of directly related to Christmas. Yeah, Jesus's birthday. We want to prepare for that just like we prepare for our friends' birthdays. I always do something different for my friends than for Jesus' birthday. I think you should treat Jesus better. <laughs> How is Advent celebrated? That's a great question, in fact, because one of the things that we think we have to realize is that celebrations are a realization of something that is deeply true within us, that we have experienced something in our lives that we want to anticipate, live again, stay present to, that makes us overwhelmed with joy. It's, uh, it's getting excited. I mean, I think there's, there's this, I mean... We talk about preparation, we talk about penance, but there's there's also some excitement in that. Like like yeah. th there's something really big about to happen, so I get to get ready and it. The that, presents gonna... are coming. I really want them. <laughs> like, <laughs> that that's yes. the type of preparation, penance, um, getting ready that I think is joyful. We taste it already. That that the real gifts that are given to us. Like think about a marriage, right? The real gifts of the of the wedding day are in the leading up to it, as well as the celebration of the day. 
That's the same kind of thing that we would mm. talk about. How is Advent celebrated? It's celebrated in the act of preparation. I think also we went we went real fast on like celebrate here, but like there might be just like like logistical questions, like what are you supposed to do? I don't want to deal with logistical questions. <laughs> An Advent wreath is very common, so you would, you would light a candle for each Sunday as you prepare for Christmas. A lot of people have Advent calendars with mm -hmm. chocolate in them. Um, that's probably a little less religious and a little more secular, but yeah, why not have an advent wreath and, and some chocolate at the same You're gonna time. You're going to have a lot of people complaining then you said that chocolate is not religious. <laughs> it's, it's, it, can, it can be a spiritual experience. <laughs> um, you know if you work in media, you work in a parish, that if you want to launch something new, you launch it during Lent or Advent, right? Because everyone is looking for some new spiritual practices, which is part of the getting ready and the preparation, right? So I used to work here at America. They've got podcasts for that. So they've got Advent Reflections. They're on the website. There's probably going to be a ton of resources that come out around Advent because the spiritual preparation is going to require some new materials and I think there's great resources available both at America and throughout the church for stuff like that. Okay, have we handled all of the questions on this lovely card? Season of Penance, different than Lent, it's not based on anything in the Bible, uh, related to Christmas and celebrated. You answered all of the philosophical questions. I pointed out there might be logistical issues. I feel like we know ourselves by now. <laughs> That's we hope that these episodes have helped you to get to know us a little bit as well. My name is Father Patrick Gilger. This is Father Eric Sundrup. On behalf of America Media, we'd like to wish you a wonderful Advent. Thank you for joining us on this first episode of Season 2 of Jesuit Autocomplete. If you want to see the rest of these episodes, you can click the subscribe button right now. <laughs> it's always there. <laughs>